Just as there are rules of tennis, there are rules of hype and expectation. Heading into last year's US Open, the question swirling around Coco Gauff went like this. Does she have what it takes, finally, to break through and win her first major? The answer was a hard yes, which, per the rules of hype, means the question swirling around her as she heads into the Australian Open becomes, does she have what it takes to back up one smashing major with a smashing, or at least solid, showing at the next one? It's harsh and maybe even unfair, but the good news here is that Goff absolutely is poised to build on one success with another. Coco Goff. Last September, she didn't just win the U.S. Open, she seized it. She didn't just show off her power and athleticism, she showed off her survival instincts. Down a set in the final against a higher rank opponent, she decided she simply was not going to lose. She also proved a lot to the folks on the other side of the net, that she can summon the necessary level of strength, that she can summon the focus to win seven matches over two weeks, that her decision to shake up the voices in her ear, adding Brad Gilbert to the mix, was a wise one. And as Goff enters this, her final major as a teenager, she no longer is fighting impatience. In fact, time is now on her side. There is still a one before her age, and she already has garnered a Hall of Fame resume. And it's worth pointing out that winning a major before turning age 20 is something that neither Roger Federer, nor Novak Djokovic, nor Venus Williams ever did. So off Goff goes, trying to keep her winning streak at a major going. Yes, it's another round of pressure and hype. And yet, in another way, she comes into this event more free than perhaps she's ever been. <laughs>